Christy with Christy's Craft Room. I'm not. That is that is husband. <laughs> that is my husband, it's easy Tim. For you to say. <laughs> oh Lord, get the word. Help me get the words all in the right order. Happy Friday. Come on in. We're gonna get crafty. We're gonna get creative. We're gonna have some fun. Today we are going to do some crafting with one of our newest wood and metal cutouts. So I'm super, super excited to create this with you guys. So excited. So excited. So come on in. We're going to chat. We're going to hang out. We're going to have some fun. Okay. Say hello. Once you get here, let us know where you're watching from. Hello. I see Miss Wanda. Hello, Miss Kathy Carter. How are you? Miss Yolanda is here watching. Hello, Miss Linda Carlisles. Hello, Miss Jennifer McCartney. Hey, Tim is sending out the text. The text is going out right now for both Facebook and YouTube. So it is coming. Miss Lynn, how are you? Miss Susan, hello, hello, hello. Um, awesome new release. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We, um, I, it's been a long time coming for this release. This is something that is probably our biggest request is this type of stuff. And I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. I, well, I guess I do. I kind of figured it out last night when we were chatting. Um, I just, I just, we didn't have the equipment to do it the way that I would want to do it before. Now that we've got the setup that we have, we can do, um, we can do it justice, okay? And you can't do something like this and not do it justice, right? So we wanted to do it well. Hello, Miss Wanda. Thank you, Miss Chris and Kenny for the stars. Hello, Miss Susan. How are you from North Dakota? Hey, Miss Cindy. Happy, happy Friday, Miss Kathy Carter. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the stars. Hello, Miss Ish Irvine. How are you? Miss Kathy Dickman. Okay, so we're gonna craft this. We're gonna we're gonna really paint this. I am going to go, this is military themed. You can kind of go in whatever direction you want, whichever branch direction, depending on your paint colors. I'm gonna go in the direction of army with this one today, okay? So I'm gonna be using army colors. Now, if you want to do it for a Marine, you can go with the, those colors. You could do the Navy. You could do whatever you want to do, okay? Um, ooh, Miss Rhonda said she ordered. She's so excited to see me make it. Yay! Thank you, Jackie, for the stars. Thank you, Miss Jackie. Thank you. Hello, Miss Vivian. Hey, Miss Janet. Okay, so we are going to, um, we're going to paint this. But make sure that you check out all of our wood cutouts over on the shop because we have nope. police fire, EMS slash EMT, and military, both large pieces like this and tier tree, tray sets that coordinate, okay? So let us know which one your favorites are, okay? Uh, thank you, Miss Peggy. Ooh, listening and driving, drive safe, be careful. So I'm gonna set the metal pieces aside. These come with these metal overlays. We're gonna set these aside. I'm probably gonna distress them up a little bit because you all know I love a little distressing around here. So I'm gonna set those aside for a moment. Right to me, you got to like be distressed. Yes. The distressed yes. look. Yes. I do have another one over here that I'm going to gift to somebody at the end of this live. So all you have to do is sprinkle this out to your friends, invite them to come in and hang out with us. And yes, um, Cindy, we can see you. somebody who does that, we're gonna pick a name right here at the end of this live for somebody to be gifted this wood cut out with the galvanized metal overlays, okay? Army wife in the house, yeah, Miss Teresa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Somebody said a star party started. I never see the star party on our end anymore. Do you guys see the star party? It does not say star party here. It's weird. I wonder if that's one of their other changes. So they've changed a lot. They made they've a lot of changes lot. just even right. recently. So with our cutouts, you can see there's etches, okay? So let me show you. We've got, let me lay these on here. We've got these metal overlays. So they've got, we've got these metal overlays that lay over top of the wood. But when you remove them, we do the etching in it as well to make these really easy painting for you. So now you know exactly where to put your paint for the stars, for the braid, and then even to paint the boots. You don't have to do tracing. All you have to do is paint it, put your metal on, and you don't have to be a good painter for this, okay? Best part. Gina says, I showed them to George, and he was, I need this one and this one, and oh, uh, this one too. <laughs> 
this is one you might have the husband's wishes and and and, and well um what is the words <coughs> this is the one that you might have your husband's well wishes to purchase these ones because there's lots of pretty cool ones that even the guys like a lot of times yeah. it's stuff that the girls will like it, a lot of the guys the guys will like this stuff too so thank I'm, you jennifer for those stars <laughs> thank you penny for the stars i swallowed wrong now i got a tickle <laughs> Mr. Daru would like that. Mr. Daru would like that. Is Mr. Oh, I see. Mr. Daru is here. He would like this. Yes. You guys, we have, I think every single person, everybody knows somebody who is either currently serving, has served in the past, has served themselves. Um, I feel like that, whether it's, especially the military, because it's, you know, you've got all the different branches, but then you got the police, the fire, you know, the, the EMTs and all of that. Um, so I definitely think that that is why we get so many requests for this stuff is because it just hits home and so many people can connect to it. Um, your son is in the sheriff's department, right? So you could get the police one and you can do it in the colors because there's, there's lots of different colors out there for the different um, policing agencies. Thank you, Missy, for the stars. I'm going to do gold. It's kind of a gold. I say it's gold, but it's called straw. So I'm going to use that for the stars. I'm going to do that for the stars. And you can do these in whatever colors you want. These are just the colors I'm using. But you don't have to be a good painter. I'm literally just, you don't have to be a good stars? painter, okay? You don't have to be a good painter. Look at that. I'm literally just going over the whole star. I'll come back and do a second coat. But y'all, you don't have to be a good painter, okay? A lot of times we get hung up on, oh, I can't paint that. I'm not a good painter. You don't have to be with these. Yeah, that's the, be that's the beauty of the overlays. Yes. So we did get, we, I do want to address a little something here. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> it's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. I just want you to know you are heard and you are not forgotten, okay? Um, we've oh. gotten <laughs> lots of messages already and comments asking, what about the nurses, Okay. Did you forget about the nurses? We did not forget about the nurses. We did remember the nurses. I actually have a set prepared for the nurses and Tim cut me off. <laughs> I'm gonna blame you. I'm gonna put it on him. Blame me. No. Um, That's a lot of stuff. You know what? It, it's a lot of stuff this week. It's, and it's these a lot. are- Tier these, tray sets alone are, are, are a lot. Yeah, these are big cuts. Tier tray sets are probably Tim's least favorite things to do. <laughs> Which, of course, one of my favorite things is one of his least favorites, right? Of course. That's the way it goes. Um, ooh, a three-star general in the Air Force. That's awesome, Marilyn. So we um, did not forget about our nurses. We just only have so many, so much time and equipment to keep up with it all. So we will definitely be expanding upon this collection. So make sure you're checking back. I actually have a nursing one set up, ready to go. We're almost ready to go. I have a couple of edits you, to for do, the stars. but um, it is coming. So we did not forget about you. I promise you. Okay. Um, yeah. No. It's it's just. Well, normally, I only have so many hours in a day. Normally, I'll only since we started doing the tier tray sets. The most we've ever done is two in one week. And when we when I've released two in one week, Tim's like, girl, girl. Do you woman, hate me? What are you doing? Um, because it's a lot of detail and a lot of work. So we did four, four tier tray sets this week and all the um the larger sets. So <coughs> yes, nurses day is coming. It is. It is. So so yeah, I put a lot on Tim's plate this week. <laughs> yes. But I just want you guys to know, we love you, we appreciate you, and we did not forget you. We just, it comes in stages. So, so it's a common, it's a common. I'm using, this is actually a chalk paint. This is folk art chalk paint that I'm using because it's the closest color that I have. You can use acrylic paint or chalk paint for these. It is Spanish moss, Spanish moss is the color I'm using for the Brave. I'm going very army with it. Lots of army colors. But imagine if you were doing, say, Marines, you could do this in the blue and do the stars in the, the gold, yellow straw color. Yeah, yes, blue, the, the, the nurses crafts are coming. 
They are. They, they are. are we we love our nurses. We've not forgotten our nurses. We just can only do so much in one week. So it's a coming. It's a coming. All right. I'm going to come back and do a second coat on my yellow because it's dry now. And then I'll come back and do another coat on the green. And then I'm going to show you how easy these boots are going to be to do. Because these boots are made for walking. These boots are made for a lot. These boots are made for a lot more than walking, right? <laughs> a lot more than walking. Right? Walk a day in these boots. Um, and a lot of us will realize how cushy of a life we have, right? So don't forget sprinkle because we're going to gift this set to somebody. The unfinished set. So there we have so far. Okay, we got our Brave covered. We've got our stars covered. Now I'm going to do, do I want to do the background or the boots first? I think I'm going to do the boots first, okay? For the boots, we're going to Army. We're going to go with this um, Bambi Brown. It's Bambi Brown. Thank you, Lana, going for the for stars. The, the lighter um, Going for the, uh, the desert camo. Kind of. Kind of. I guess it could be desert, but... Um, like, I, I know several boys that are, um, several men that are going through, like, Army basic training right now, actually. And I actually just wanted to make sure, and I did a little confirmation and went and stalked their, their profiles. <laughs> um, some of them are through basic training and beyond that. But I went and stalked to make sure I had my coloring correct because, you know, you got to make sure. you got to make sure. But this is the closest I have. Thank you, Teresa, um, for the stars. Is the Bambi Brown. It's a ceramic coat brand, Bambi Brown. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you, Janine, for the stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use this brush. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to say these double lines, see how it's doubled? That's where the metal is going to be. So anywhere where you see those double lines is where the metal will lay. So I'm going to do the whole boot area, this whole boot area. This part inside the boot I'm going to leave, and we're going to do that just a little bit of a lighter shade just to kind of add that little dimension to it. And then on the little bottom edges, I'll do this. So it's probably like a dark brown or I don't think black. Black might be too much, but we'll do it with a little bit of a darker um, shade of brown for the boots because you can see... In our boot cutout, you've got all the little holes, so you're gonna be able to see that color through there. Okay. I hope it's gonna be awesome, Julie. I hope that's the plan. That's the plan. So I'm gonna do all these outside parts of the boots. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be a good, good color. And same thing, you don't have to be a perfect great painter. Yeah, Cindy, we we see you. We actually want you to go outside the lines just a little bit. Thank you, Alice, if, for the stars. If you go outside the lines, when you lay your metal on, you'll be sure to not have any wood showing through. So we're going to overlap our lines a little bit. And I don't even have to worry about these shoelaces because, because the shoelaces are the metal. Okay, So I can paint right over where those shoelaces will be. I'm just not going to paint the sole or the inside of the boot. I'm gonna work my way through, like so. All right, I know, and I've been seeing in the comments all of y'all who have family members and um, you yourselves were in the military or spouses are retired military. Dad was a sergeant in the Korean War, right? So many stories. Thank you, Mary, for the stars. Um, get ready, guys. I'm going to grab some names here in a second. And I know we have a little ways, but these would be great for um, Father's Day. Father's Day is coming. Um, Memorial Day is, I, I know it's not till May, but I feel like it's right around the corner. It's going to be here before we know it. And when you're crafting, you always got to craft ahead of time and have time to make the things before, because we think we have all the time in the world. We're like, oh, I'll get to that. Oh, I'll get to that. Next thing you know, all the time's gone by, right? Where? Hmm. Yeah, keep an eye on that one. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on that one. We got Tim, the, the, the bodyguard, the, 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 the common guard in here. <laughs> or what do we call you? What do we call you? I don't know. Tim the... As long as it's not Tim the tool man. It's not Tim the tool man. Tim the... um. Oh, goodness. 
Yep, that's it, Don. The comment enforcer, watcher, bodyguard. The bouncer. Bouncer, the bouncer, yes. Yes, I, I bounce well when I fall. Well, huh, I guess it depends what hit, hits first. No, right. my head bounced. <laughs> Woo! Easy. I know, throwing it all over the place. And these are with so, um, cut out of quarter inch wood too, just, just so you know. When we do larger cut, uh, cuts like this, we do it out of the quarter inch. It's less likely, less likely to warp on you. So that's why we use the quarter inch. So get ready, guys. I'm gonna grab some names here in a second. Or did I already say that? Uh, you already said that. Did I? A, a few minutes ago. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> We're all waiting. We're oh, waiting, Tim. We're waiting. Bump. That's right, Don. Bumbles bounce. <laughs> what movie is that from? I you don't know. That know. Bumbles bounce. Bumbles bounce. I know Weebles wobble. No, I fall down. But they don't fall down, is what they say. So, okay, we have Rebecca Ferrand, Margaret Shrank St. Clair, Lana Morris, Patty Martin, Ramona Roberts, uh, uh, Sandra Campbell, Kathy Goyer, Sharon Henson, Lynn's, Lynn Desroach, and Marie Bay, Don Marie Bayhill. All right, so if you just heard your name, that means... You are going into our crafty mail bucket. We put names in the bucket each live that we do. And you don't have to do anything. Just celebrate. Do a little dance. A little happy dance. Rock tonight. Or I don't know. Was that the right words? Yeah, no. Rock it right. That's right, Janine. Something, something like That's that. That's from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, yep. I did not know that one. Um, yeah, when they're um, the, the abominable snowman, mm. they call him the Bumble. Oh, the, um, what's, what was the, um, oh, what was his name? Yeah, I the, wouldn't have gotten that one right. Cornelius. I am not a good trivia person, if you haven't noticed. Tim is a pretty good trivia person when it comes to categories like that. Cornelius said, uh, uh, called it, uh, called him the Bumble. Yeah. Bumble Bumbles. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a second <laughs> coat here, because by the time I got yep, through it. Yep, and Hermie the Elf. That wanted to be the dentist? Yes. Yes. Yep, Yukon Cornelius. We might dirty up these boots a little bit. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I suppose the military, they're really good about keeping their boots nice and polished. So. Well, it depends if it's their dress boots or their... I guess the, you, these Kelly would the not stars. be their dress boots. So I guess these ones would be like their combat boots. Like, so we might dirty them up just a little, just a little. Like, you know, they just took them off. They just haven't repolished them and cleaned them up yet. We'll just, we'll go that route. <laughs> That's what we're going to say. Okay. Good, good try, Anne-Marie. She says, I think my name should go in the bucket too, since Tim said my first name and screwed up my last name oh <laughs> I, I like your thinking girl i like your thinking i like your thinking all right Get this last do you have one. one for the dusties you'll have to elaborate on that one a little bit what are the the dusties what are the dusties yeah clarify what are the dusties oh it's windy in san antonio today <coughs> It was windy here last night. Yeah, I don't know what the dusties are. Yeah, it was pretty windy here last night. A little in the windy side. Okay. All right. Oh, I thought you were about to say something, so I got quiet. Well, right yeah. Because um, I, I, I don't think we did it last night, and I, I'm pretty sure you had oh. no time for it today. What was I supposed to do last night? The chunky chip. Ah. <clears throat> I did post the chunky chicken. I did. Those darn chunky chickens have been on the loose, and I had to go chase down those chunky chickens, okay? Those chunky chickens um, somehow ran away and disappeared off my phone when I was going to upload it. So luckily, luckily, we had a backup, and I was able to get that. But um, that's why... That's the real reason it took me so long to post those chunky chickens. I, I thought I lost the chunky chickens, and I thought I was going to have to start over with the chunky chickens. Um, for those, those of you that don't know, these are the chunky chickens. Um, 
And everyone's been asking me for a video for days, probably even a week or more, for a video for our chunky chickens. Well, thank you, Tracy. I posted it. So the video is on the page. It is here on the page. I posted it this morning for you. Tracy said she she was I was an arts and crafts teacher. I'm retired now. Mm. Love your page so much. Wow. Oh, I feel honored. That makes me feel like that makes she me feel failed. That, she she failed arts. I did not fail arts. English maybe. <laughs> Math, that's a possibility too. You think? Art? I did quite well in art. I did. I did. All right, I'm going to pick dry this a little bit. Just so my colors don't bleed into each other because I might, you know, they might come in contact a little bit. Okay. I am going to take some white. Let me grab some white. I'm going to take some white and I'm going to make a little bit lighter shade of this. Let me show you how it's looking so far, okay? Whoop. Looks kind of like something your elementary art students did, right? Just wait. Just wait. Just Thank you wait. for the stars, uh, Penny. I'm going to take a little bit of white. Add just a little bit of the same brown. Not too much. Just to make it a shade or so lighter. So that we can, um, just so it adds a little dimension to the craft. Just a little bit. A Thank little you, bit Patricia, more. for the stars. Thank you. Can I... I'm going to ask a, well. Mm -hmm. Ask away. Okay. Are, are you painting like the, the background? I'm going to paint the background, yes. Yes. I'm going to paint the background. I just didn't get to it yet. I say don't, well, don't, don't you normally do that first? I'm just asking. I went back and forth. I decided I was going to do the boots first. Okay. You could do either. You could do the background first if you want to, or you could do the boots first. It's totally personal preference. It I doesn't was just really curious. Matter. You could do either. But yes, a lot of times I will do the background first. But because normally you, you but do this the... is different. But normally I'm doing that. The background is separate from the other parts. But this is all on one surface. So yeah, I did not. You could. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't well, I know it. It just. You could choose and paint whichever one you want to do first. There's a lot of paint on this brush because I used my brush to mix. So let's get some of Probably that. I want a different brush. I might grab a different one because there's a lot of paint all up deep into that brush. So let me grab a different brush. We'll go with this one, a little bit smaller brush too, a little smaller. See, some other people were curious about that too. I, there's no reason. There's, there's honestly with these cutouts, the way that it's etched, it doesn't really matter. You can do it in what order that you want to. There's really, that's the best part with these cutouts. There's no right or wrong. You do want to go over your lines a little bit. You've got that double line, so it gives you a little bit of room to go over. And if you go too far over, that's okay. Just grab your other brush and come back and touch it up. Like so. Like so. I'm just filling that in. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I did want to do that. I did want to do that because that's like the inside of the, the tongue. And we're going right over our lines. It's like, I love these because it looks, it literally looks like a two-year-old painted it, okay? There are some very talented two-year-olds out there. So if you're two and you're watching, don't be offended, okay? Okay. Um... If I place my order on, if I place my order, can I pick it up on Thursday and not Tuesday? Yes. Yes. If you place, okay, so though, some of you might not know, we just started purchase online, and when you get into the checkout, there's an option for pickup in store. You can pick up in the store on Tuesdays and Thursdays between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., you can pick it up any Tuesday, Thursday, it doesn't matter. If you don't pick up, if you order it now and you don't come in on Tuesday, it's still gonna be sitting there waiting for you on Thursday. And heaven forbid you get busy and something comes up Thursday, you don't get here till the following Tuesday, it's still gonna be here. We're not gonna, we're not, we're not gonna put it back on the shelf or sell it to somebody else. We'll we'll hold it for you. Um, yep, so Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 2, you can come in 
you can select to pick your purchase up in store. Yes. Someone asked if we could do the she do chevrons instead of the stars. Chevrons. I, I think that's like the. I don't know. I think it's like their insignia, the stripes on there. But wouldn't each one have different number of chevrons? Uh, if somebody knows, tell me. Because I don't know. Because don't you have like a different number depending on different like stages or, or different rankings? Like the type, is that the right word? You're a brave woman trying to craft <coughs> with your husband right there. That's how my episode of <laughs> Snapped would begin. Ah! <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. Um, well, seeing how you brought that up. Yeah, the stripes. Yeah, I think that would be difficult because everybody would need different numbers of stripes and it wouldn't be very universal. Um, and it would be hard to have a different, a bunch of different ones. And I don't think that we did the, I don't think you posted one for the crazy chicken lady one. I did not paint the crazy chicken one yet. Not yet. I want to do that one. Um, one, because a lot of you guys ordered that one and I know you want to see it done. But two, I just want to do it because that's going to be a fun one to do. Fun one to do. With me being gone for... Um, Thank you, Sandy, for the stars. That better part of a week I um didn't get a ton of them done so I'm playing catch up right now um and Patricia asked um it, will you at some point do something for the different branches in the military see that's the thing um this is neutral and you can change it to the different ones that you can do we cannot do a specific army logo we cannot do the marines logo all of that is licensed and trademarked um and there's laws to protect those designs and we can't do that um well, we can do it for uh, you know we could you can do it for yourself you can do it for yourself it you can't sell. do it and sell it so we can't make them to sell to you guys so that's why it's a little bit more generic and then you can paint it for the branch that you want we can't sell we might be able to have something that says army but we can't have the army logo so we just got to be be careful um we will be expanding on this collection and one of the ideas i had was to have something that maybe says army or says marines or set you know says the different branches um but we can't do we can't get too specific with their logos does that make sense so yes we do plan to expand upon these and add different little add-on things thank you crystal for the stars so i hope that makes sense does that make sense Makes perfect sense to me. Okay. Makes perfect sense to you because we already had this conversation. I know. So hopefully it makes <laughs> sense to everyone else who wasn't sitting in, you know, listening in our living room when we had our conversation last night of yeah, it was just, talking about it the was just Alexa listening. Just Alexa. Alexa should understand. Yeah. Right. So uh, was Tim interested in crafting at the beginning, <laughs> appearing appearing to him liking it now? Um. <laughs> no. Tim used to sit in his recliner and watch TV when I crafted. And um, I would shout things from the peanut gallery. Yeah, at first, I don't think he cared. He did not care at all. I'm going to add a little drop of this dark brown, and we're going to make, I think this is a little too dark for the, for the, the soles of the boot. So we're just going to put a little drop of the dark brown. This is burnt umber. Burnt umber. Into our little mix here and make a little bit of a darker color. So I'm gonna mix it with this one. Ooh, not that one. And I'm gonna use... Okay, get ready guys. I'm gonna grab some more names here in a minute. This one to paint. So I'll mix it with yeah, this they, one. Yeah, they said it makes sense. Yeah, so we have to just have to be careful, but we definitely plan to expand upon this collection for y'all. It just takes time, you guys. The ideas, I have so many different things I want to do. Dorian says, I remember when Tim would holler from the other room. He would. That was a long time ago. Like, it first started where, like, he had no interest and totally ignored the fact that I was even, like, he was like, whatever, I don't know what you're doing in there. You have uh, lost your mind, woman. Um, he didn't really care at all. I don't think that's quite dark enough. I think I want it. I mean, yeah, it I looks it darker, but I think darker. it needs to be another drop darker. Yeah. Um, I agree. He didn't care what I was doing. He was like, whatever. You've, you've lost your mind. Um, <laughs> 
And then he slowly started, like, I think he would just, oh, I was live. So while he's watching TV, he'd turn the live on um, and just kind of watch. And then he would start throwing in his two cents from the other room and, and, and yelling from the other room, the other side of the house. He would, like, answer a question or or give his opinion on something, or if I was talking about him, he would like defend himself from the other room or yeah, Lynn whatever. says she remembers me yelling from his, my chair. <laughs> yeah, he said yell from his recliner. I don't even have my recliner, that recliner anymore. Nope. That was, that was the dog recliner. Yeah, yeah. He didn't want to get rid of that recliner. No. Oh, it, it was it the one recliner be... that we'd let T-Bone up on. It needed to be gotten rid of. Oh yeah, that was a horrible yeah. one. Yeah. It was definitely, it, that one had a, it had a lot of miles on it. It did. So, um, yeah, so he was not interested. And then the very, I think the very first time that he was on one of my lives was, I think. It was when you broke that. When my tear tray fell apart yeah, at the end of my live. I made a tear tray on the live and it collapsed. I was, was all hilarious. done. I had I sat everything on it and it literally collapsed. And I was like, oh, we got to fix this, okay? I could not end the lie without fixing it. So I had to like saw a piece off of it and I just needed an extra set of hands. So he came in and did that. And I think he liked it. And then he would kind of pop in from time to time and say hi and kind of slowly hang, start hanging out a little closer. He'd sit in the chair off to the side while I was live. And, um, and then I was like, well, if you're here anyways, you might as well get in the comments and help me get names for the crafty mail bucket. Yeah. And so he did that. And yeah, and then he just stuck around and, and he's been here ever since. All right. We have Bernita Tuttle. Stacy Trivet Ropes, Corby Slocan, Sandra Hare, Gina Sigmund, Kathy Dickman, Margaret Barton, Jan Goodyear, uh, Sharon Henson, Jesse Lofton, Jan Goodyear, and Dan, uh, Dawn Boo Boo. <coughs> so I'm thinking like just white shiplap for the background is kind of what I'm leaning towards. All right, put them to work, right, Stacy? Oh, yeah, she definitely put me put to work. Put them to work, oh, yes. You are welcome, Tony. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad you guys are liking these. I'm glad you are. I think there can never be enough recognition for our service men and women. I just think what they do is beyond what any of us could ever do in life. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's pretty incredible. So, when if we can honor them, we will. All right. Oh, that. Says she remembers that video. I'm gonna put these in the water. I'm gonna, can you relocate that somewhere where you're not gonna sit your hand in it? I'm gonna need that paper though, so don't put it too much on top of that. All right, I'm going to use. Oh, Marlene says, Tim, are you happy with your decision to move to Christie's craft room? Are you happy? I got more rest at my other job. <laughs> he does work very hard, he does. He does work very hard, but, um, yeah, there's lots of perks to the job too, though. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. All right, so this is going to be covered up. Christine says, You came out of your shell, Tim, but I like you in the lives. <laughs> so you, we don't need to paint this side. We just need to paint from these lines, from these lines that are etched here, over, okay? Ooh, I just. What did you do? I touched it, but. Apparently, I didn't get anything on me. All right. Torian says, I remember him in his recliner and getting excited for booting out a troll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was like, gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you, Alana, for the stars. All right. So, I am going to just start. We're going to go right to the edge of the boot. Might be good to go around a little bit first. Kind of create a, a line. Y'all see? Can y'all see move that? And then we're just gonna fill it in. And then we will come back and kind of um, accentuate our shiplap lines. We'll probably need two coats. And then I will probably, 
Probably. Oh, did I go too far? Oh, I might have got a little happy with my line there. That's okay. You can touch it. Thank you for the stars, Marcel. Marcel, um, the best way to get rid of a coyote is to... Uh, um, Call somebody who knows what they're doing. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how else you get rid of them. I, well, that well, wasn't going to be my answer. I have another way. Somebody who has experience. If you don't have experience, I don't know how else to get rid of them. You definitely want somebody with experience. And you got to follow your local, like, laws and stuff. Yes. I don't know. Yes, you have to follow the, the, the local laws, but... Yes. I can think of an, uh, of an amendment that was made for that one. Well, yes. Follow your local laws. <laughs> follow your local laws. You know, she might live in a neighborhood where there's lots of other houses around. Might not be out in, in the country where, you know, if you've got the skills, you can handle it yourself. Hi Sandra, over we in, only uh, give on the crafting, other side of the pond. We only give professional crafting advice around here. Yes. If you want to call it that. Yes, my, my my advice is to be taken with a grain of salt. Yes. And usually put on fries. <laughs> You're, funny. You're a funny man. You're a funny man. All right, so don't forget to sprinkle this because we are gifting one of these sets to somebody. Somebody who's hanging out with us today. So what are your guys' plans this weekend? What do you all got going on? We have um, we have a dance this weekend. Our children, no, our children don't. have a dance this weekend, which means we have dance prep this weekend. So don't worry, I'm gonna come back and do a second coat and make this look all pretty. I'm just kind of getting a base coat going first oh yeah and then there is that football game thing on sunday oh that's right super bowl on sunday yes who's watching the super bowl who do you want to win okay guys who i are you picked rooting up for i picked up some stuff for the smoker what are you smoking gonna smoke some some chicken wings it'll be the first time i've ever smoked chicken wings so and then I, I wouldn't say that word too many times because facebook listens oh uh, yeah and they think you're saying something else that you're not. Just saying. Yeah. And, and barbecue. Yep. See? It's and. I know it's not looking like much yet, y'all, but trust me. Trust me. They're. They're called pig shots. And it's it's sausage wrapped with bacon and some stock. Uh, uh, Cream cheese and cheese well, and Well, have you communicated with Dave to see if Dave's making those? I already bought the stuff for it because I was oh. I was planning on staying home. You forgot. You weren't plan you were you weren't planning on staying home. You forgot that we had plans. I didn't know we had plans. But you were right there when we made the I plans on New Year's no, Eve. No. Yes, you were. Oh wait, New Year's Eve? Yes. What time on New Year's Eve? Oh goodness gracious. Y'all, I can't. If it was it. past six PM on, on New Year's Eve, I don't remember it. You are full of baloney. It's an excuse. That's an excuse. I don't believe it. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. So, so yeah, so I, I'm making some. I'm making them. Okay. I got the them. stuff for them. It's, it's in the fridge. It's ready. Okay. I got to make them. Got to make them. We'll so, just have lots of them if Dave makes them too. Well, I'll eat them on the way. <laughs> a little pregame snack. You got the pregame. Pre -game snack. You got the pregame. Tim plead the fifth. Right. I know, right? Okay. All right. So I got my Whoa. first base coat. <laughs> Where's that? Monica's is trying to convince my husband to take <clears throat> me to the new Magic Mike film. <laughs> Let us know how that one goes. Let us know. I bet um, he's so excited to see that one, isn't Lannis he? Well, is not a pig skin person. Yeah, neither am I. I just like the food. Pig skin. Pig skin. Football. Oh, I thought you were talking about the, the food, the, the, the bacon wrapped. Yeah. I'm like, there's no pig skin on that. Yeah. Yeah, not everybody's into the football. And that's into okay. the foosball. Not everybody's into it. I'll be honest with you, I really have not paid attention since the Lions were out. 
I'm more into our hometown team. And once they're out, I don't pay a whole lot of attention. And I don't really have a particular preference as to who Wait a minute, I think I missed something. Is going to win at that after that. Oh, okay. What'd you miss? Okay. Lynn says, I once started talking to a dog in the middle of the road at 1 a.m. on a summer night. It was a coyote. Whoops. Oh! And then, and then I'm just glad I was in the house. He stopped and looked at me like I had lost my mind. I probably. clearly had. He's like, right? He's probably like this. Human? Like, huh? Yeah, what is this human doing here? What is she thinking? Well, I'm glad that ended well for you. That could have ended terrible. All right. Getting a good second coat here. Carla are... says, I'm not much on football, but I like the commercials and halftime. Yes. I'm, I am I want to see the, um, the, the Star Spangled Banner. Who's doing the halftime? I don't know who's doing I don't know. But um, I think if I remember correctly, uh, uh, it's a, uh, what's his name? I can see his face. I don't know. I haven't seen much about it or heard much about it. Oh, he's a redneck as the day is long. Oh, for the halftime show? No, for the... Uh, oh, for the, the national anthem? Na national anthem. Mm. Um, Assurance says Rihanna is doing halftime. Okay. I guess I'll skip half time. Okay. Not really your cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we're supposed to go to my parents for... I told them we wouldn't stay for the whole thing. Yeah, Elena is going to the dance. She yes, is. Chris Stapleton. She is going to the dance. Those of you that were on our live last night in the craft kit group, we were talking about it. Um, yes. Yes, she's got. She's going to the dance. She's going to the dance. Yep, we just uh, uh, we just went and picked up her picked her, up her ticket. ticket. Yep. So, she's all set. She's all set and excited to go. Yes, Chris Stapleton is is awesome. I, I you know one of the things I love is he still has that old sound. Too bad he wasn't doing the halftime show. So, they'd never they'd never hire someone like him for the halftime. Yeah. Well, he's doing the national anthem, so. so I guess that's a start. Yeah. I guess that's a start. Okay. I think I'm going to dry this. We're going to see how it's looking. See how she's looking. It'd be nice to see, like, uh, uh, Jamie Johnson. Puppy Bowl and commercials will be watching along with the game. There you go. Um, It's a school dance. It's just a school dance. It's the winter formal or winter semi-formal, I guess, is like that. Yeah, and it's the Sadie Hawkins. So, so when we went and got her ticket today, it is. Uh, that's that's what they were talking about at the, at the uh, in the office there. So, <coughs> um, they were talking about it being the Sadie Hawkins dance, and as we go out, Elena's like, "Who's Sadie Hawkins?" <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man, can I go watch it, the, the football game with uh, uh, Christine and James? What are they doing? What do they got going on? Um, two ounce drinks during halftime. Ooh. I'm just doing a quick peek to make sure I got everything covered that needs to be covered. I'm going to hold this up and show you all in a minute. I just want to do a quick peek. Make sure. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. It definitely needs some distressing. I'm going to show you what it looks like now, just so in case you, um, in case you like a just nice, crisp, clean look. Woo, woo. It's hard to hold it. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? But Ooh, I had to distress you know it up a little bit, y'all. Here's, I got here's to. something that we I should try to. and work into something. Oh, the purple heart? Yeah. Try and work that into something. Yes, that's a good idea. All right, so I'm gonna get some antique wax here. So see, my grandpa Bottle was a, a, a pilot in World War II. Mm -hmm. He was. Uh, uh, yeah, me too, Carla. He he. Um, was uh, uh, 
He was a pilot, and he, he became a, um, a flight instructor. Put that over there. All right, so I dipped my stencil brush in the lid, and then I'm kind of getting the excess off on my paper plate over here. I should hear you all can see. And he he flew, uh, uh, he flew they, they called it the Goonie Bird, the C-47. Start on my edges. I'm just going to kind of just tap in it for right now, okay? Just tap right, in Corby it. Corby says the background needs something. It definitely needs something. We're going to bring out some of that shiplap a little bit more, too. You can still see the lines. I'll hold it up so you can see. When you paint over it with the white, you can still see those lines coming through. And I'll show you that in a minute. So, yeah, so we were wondering why it was called Sadie Hawkins. So I, I, I asked Surrey. Yeah, what Surrey have? She say? was of no help. No. All she did was say it was something having to do with the uh, season eleven, episode eight of Glee. Oh, pff, really? Yeah, or something like something like that. It referred to the show Glee, and I'm like, really? I bet someone here knows. So I got, I went over. I don't know if you saw that. I got most of the went over and rubbed <laughs> off all the. Hold on, I went over and rubbed off as much of the antique wax, and then I'm going back and I'm just kind of like dragging it and blending it. And if you go too heavy by accident, you can always come back with your sanding block or more paint and lighten it up. Gail says, your voice has a high pitch at times. My dog looks for you. Really? Really? Wow. Tim says the same thing. He's like, oh, that high-pitched voice. <laughs> Ooh. Jan's got a good year. Do a progressive Super Bowl party. Uh, a moving uh, a move during every quarter to go to the next house. That's fun. Well, you'd have to, I think you would have to live in a subdivision to do something like, like that. that. Be careful. Huh? Oh, I'll get off the table. Um, yeah, I feel like if you lived in like a neighborhood and all the neighborhood was involved, that would be super, super fun. Super fun. I'm actually using a little bit of my antique wax and I'm just, let me show you. I forgot. I was going to show you. You can still see, can y'all, oh, I can't see. See how you can still see those shiplap lines sh showing through? Mm. So I'm just tracing them with a little bit of antique wax and a skinny brush. Apparently it's got to do some, with something with little Abner. We'll have to ask your dad. Dad will know. Dad will know. Dad knows all those things. Don't worry about getting a perfect yeah, line. Yeah, we knew we knew that it. Um, the girls asked. It was the girls honest. asking the boys, but why? I bet you it has something to do with history. And Sadie Hawkins was probably the girl's name. She was probably the first one to walk up and ask a boy. She's like, I ain't gonna sit here and wait. I'm for the tired boy. of waiting for you to ask mm -hmm. me. Do you want to go to the dance with me? Yes. And I'm saying it like that because you know she was southern. She was a southern belle. <laughs> And she was not waiting for no man. <laughs> and we all love her for it. Oh, yes. you know what? Oh, crap. But I bet you somebody here knows. Someone here is going to give us the answer, or go? they're going to Google it real quick, it. and they're going to find it. So, now see, you can purple uh, sir, uh, uh, personalize it with a purple heart, blue star in service, or gold star killed while serving. Mm -hmm. So you could do, like... The center one, it, it, for, for a blue star family, you put, mm -hmm. like, the, do the center one blue. You could. You could. That's, yeah. that's an idea. Absolutely. You could even incorporate a purple heart somewhere over here, like, by the boots or on the background. Don't put your hand in front of your heat gun like I just did. I was going to say, we've got, oh, crap. And we just happen to have hearts. We do have hearts. We do have hearts. All right. We've got a lot of hearts. I am going to... Take a get a little bit more. We need a little bit more distressing on this. Do what you did on the outside to where the metal that covers the brave line. Yes, we're going to do, and we're going to do the metal pieces too. Yeah, I'm not done yet. I just kind of started there, and then I'm going to work way, my way around. I want to get around the edges of these boots here a little bit, down around the toes. Shailene says us Southerners don't sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> you probably don't. You probably don't. That well, was you just don't. a poor imitation. You don't. We're not good at, um, we're not good at. But that there was funny. We're not good at impersonations around here at all. Not at all. 
So a little bit of shadowing. So even if you, you know, just a little shadowing, a little bit of dimension to make them pop. We're even gonna do a little bit inside. Oh, right heart. Janice, get better. Take care of your. Hopefully, your dog gets better too. Oh. There's lots going around right now. Lots going around. Lots going around. Okay. All right. Oh, Corby said, from what I could tell, it was made up. A father was concerned his daughter wouldn't find a suitable bow, so he had a dance where the girls could choose the man. Oh, Okay. Lay this back on here just to see where my line is lining up. Okay. Coming a little further. All right. I'm going to get a little bit kind of here and there. My words here. Huh. Okay, it's a long answer, but... Uh, the idea of Sadie Hawkins dances originally comes from a comic strip, uh, and yes, it's offensive, uh, in an old comic strip called Little Abner, which is set in a fictional town of Dogpatch. There was one day every November called Sadie Hawkins Day. It was named after the homely daughter of Dogpatch's earliest settler who failed to catch a husband. <laughs> so Sadie's dad gathered all single men of Dogpatch and let the single women chase them, marrying whoever they caught. Look at that. Little history lesson here. Okay. Hmm. A bit more. Sorry, y'all. I'm a little focused. Oh, yeah. A little focused. Oh, <laughs> Melissa, that's what she was going through. She said her head feels like it's about to pop. Who? Me? Yeah. No. Well, no. Melissa. Well, I felt like my head was going to pop, like, I don't know, a little while back. Like, I had a lot of ear pressure. Like, it was just fluid in my head. Lots of fluid in my head. All right, we need to distress our metal pieces. I think I'm mostly happy. I just want to add a little bit more. This is very, very, like, very dry brushed on my stencil brush. Just kind of giving it a little bit more. Following along some of my edges here. I'm from Iowa, been in Tennessee for 30 years, and some do sound like Tim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm even going to go. Oh, yeah, I got to get some names, guys. Just a little bit. Trying to uh, skim through these comments real quick here. My white is too bright, so we're just kind of losing you do a your, little bit. When you do your crafts, do you just go with it or already have it in your mind? I have a little bit in my mind, like I picked out the colors I was using and I kind of like thought like, oh, I'll do this green, I'll do this white. You know, I kind of had the colors, but as far as like the shadowing and like it kind of evolves a little bit as I do it, you know, my mind changes a little bit. Sometimes I end up in a totally different direction, but I usually start with a general idea, but I, I don't ever have like a solid, this is exactly what it's going to look like when it's done. This is looking so good. Okay. Don says, dirty them boots up. <coughs> we are dirty in those boots up. These boots right. have been um, out working hard. Out working hard. All right, guys. I got some names here. We have Millie Smith, Patricia Sawyer Ullman, Janet Idziak, Mary Winkler, Christine and James McCants, Chris McKinney, Candy Downs, Tammy Taylor, Denise Raymond. Okay. Don Marie Bahel, Don Boo Boo, Linda's Roach, and Sharon Henson. That's where we are so far. Hold it up close so y'all can get a better look at the boots. Okay, a little bit of better look. Because huh. those boots are made for hiking. A little distressing on our stars and our words. So let me set that aside. Don't forget, if you didn't sprinkle this, sprinkle, because we're going to be gifting one of these shortly here. But first, we have to distress our metal. Yeah, it's, we, we've got to be really careful with the trade trademark stuff. We do. So. We do. We um, keep it a little on the generic side yeah. and then let you all personalize it 
more in depth once you receive it. Um, Cause you can do that. You can do whatever you want. You could get, you could get, you know, an army logo sticker from somewhere and attach it to that and, and put it on display at home and you'll be fine. We can't sell it like that. So it's very important um, that we be mindful of the trademark laws and respectful of other people's trademarked items. Um, Stacy, yes, we have a couple of, uh, we have a couple of different machines. We have a machine that cuts for just cutting the metal, and then we've got a couple machines for cutting the wood. Yes, so the metal is cut on a different piece of equipment than the wood is. So everything's done in two stages. When you see metal and wood together, it's two completely separate stages, um, that Tim has to do for that, that item. So that's why, like, when we do the tier tray sets and stuff like that, and there's, it's, it's, it's why we can only release so much at a time. Okay. Kind of blend it a little bit. Drag it. Okay. Just kind of making it look a little age. And then I'm going to seal it also. With my clear sealer, I don't know how well you all can see that. Hopefully you can see it. It just kind of makes it look a little aged. And I'm going to do the same thing with the boots. Oh, here, that's why you dip dunk. Really? What? Well, it's being a pain in my butt. Oh, I'm like, what are you talking about over there? Well, I'm trying to, um, someone was asking, really? We're all lost. Yeah, it's not doing what it's supposed He's to do. He's always over there like, oh, dip dunk. What the ham sandwich? And I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. What's well, going on? You got all of us curious. What's happening over there? All right. Because it's being a pain in the behind right now. Okay, I think that's right. good. I think that's good. So there's, there's our boots. There's our boots. So what I'm going to do, let me close the antique wax and let me grab my paper. I do, I can paint right on the surface and then I can wipe it off. It'll come right off with a baby wipe or a damp rag, Damn. but I don't want to spray my clear sealer right on my mat. So I always put a piece of paper underneath to protect my mat. Uh, thank you, Desi. I'm glad you love it. All right. <coughs> so this is what I use. Oh. It's the Rust-Oleum two times matte clear oh, sealers. Tammy who? Ruchek. Oh, been, Tammy's been here. Been a minute and we'll have since yeah, we've seen her. Yeah, we haven't seen Tammy much in a while. She's probably been working. Yeah. Well, someone says no work today. <laughs> Melissa says I love when he says what the ham sandwich. Sandwich. Yes. All right. Watch your arm there, baby. I'm going to do a nice coat. Now, these are, these hangers, the wood, it is, uh, it's called MDF. These are, if they're sealed properly, you can hang them, like, on your door, between your storm door and your door, or you can hang them on, like, a covered porch or something like that, but I would not hang these on, like where they're going to be in the elements, where the rain's going to be hitting them, the snow's going to be getting on them, the moisture will affect them. Um, so I would just keep that in mind when you are planning where you're going to put it, okay? So if you have like storm door, you know, that has the glass in it, and then your door, you should be fine. I would still seal it. You can use the clear sealer. You can even seal the wood part with the clear sealer or if you paint the entire thing, um, that's even better. So just keep that in mind. Oh, we in are Chicago. going to add the larger, we did not get to it this week, but we are going to, and I'm hoping to have them in there next week for you guys, is these larger stands. Because we did this one last week, our chicken welcome to our welcome to our coop 
and we put it on the stand because not everybody has a place to hang things. I don't have a lot of places to hang things, so I do a lot of shelf sitters. And it, you, it's kind of hard to lean something that's round. So these are great because you can stand them. So these will be in our shop. They come apart, they store flat, okay? They're just like the little mini ones that are in our tier tray set. So we are gonna have these coming to the store in three different sizes, the mini, a medium, and then the large like this, okay? So if you did get this, keep that in mind next week. Um, we should have these in the shop for you. This is... Yeah, I love you guys. I use a sealer literally for everything. She does. Always. I'm going to do a little bit of a second coat. Just to make sure I got it covered good. Just to make sure. Where's my lid? Where's my lid? All right, we're going to dry and we're going to attach it. <coughs> Gloria's husband was in Vietnam. A lot of you experienced sending your spouse away to war. And we talk a lot about those that are in the military, but the spouses and the children, the parents, they go through a lot too. I can't, it's, so we don't want to forget the job they do here at home while there are servicemen and women are gone. Yeah, Tammy, this sealer is awesome. Um, the sealer, I would, I would recommend if you have to go have a Walmart, they do, I believe, have it at Hobby Lobby, but I know they have it at Walmart, and that's usually the least expensive place that I've found to get it in the past. I have seen it on Amazon, but most of the time when you have to buy like six or 12 of them at a time, it's very rare that you can find a single one for a reasonable price. Um, every once in a while you do. I shared a link here one time um, because I found it. It was like four something, and I'm like, I get it but it's very rare that you see a single one for under yeah 12 bucks so all right so i'm letting i'm just letting my metal cool a little bit because your metal gets hot when you heat it with your heat gun um so just always be careful but the nice thing about the sealer that i also like is not only does it seal but because it's the matte finish it kind of takes away a little bit of the shine, so it kind of helps add to that distressed look, okay? It kind of gives it a matte finish and tones it down a little bit, okay? All right, so let me show y'all. Let me show you. Let me show you. Um, so this is what it looks like now. It looks like a child may have done it, right? So you don't have to be a good painter. Just paint outside the lines. We actually don't want you to paint in the lines. We want you to paint just slightly over the lines. And then when you put your metal pieces on, like so. Look at that. You can't even tell you painted over the lines, painted outside the lines. Look how good that looks. Everyone's gonna be like, wow, so impressed. And you're gonna know that underneath, it looked like a two-year-old did it, right? Right? Best part, best part of these. Anyone can paint them. All right, so I am going to use my gel super glue, which is, do I have one in here? I think it's not. Hold on, let me grab it. It's over here. I'm gonna use my gel super glue. It's in this box, so. Okay, I thought I brought, I thought I brought them in here. Uh, I didn't see them. All right. Dawn says, I want to say thank you for these. Oh, you are very welcome. Very welcome. So I'm using a gel super glue. You can use um, whatever brand you prefer. Hold on. This one was open, and i got to make sure get it going. This was one of the ones I took to the school, and they, they kind of sat open for a while before we put them away. There we go. So you they just gotta store those upside down. They it is good when you store them upside down because it is gel and it's it's doesn't want to squeeze out. So a little bit goes a long way. Just gonna put some little dots all over. 
This is not like the super glue of the 80s that like dried instantly the minute it made contact. Yeah. Um, they probably took that off the market because it probably was toxic for us or something. Yeah. Too many people glued their fingers together. But it is nice because it gives you a couple minutes to work with it. Janice would like some goats. 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 Yes, goats would be fun. Goat stuff. Yes. Yeah, I have so many ideas of things to do. So many. More animals, more farmhouse, more um, first responder stuff. Easter, spring, patriotic. There's lots of ideas. Okay. I don't have my glasses, so I think I got, I think I got all my areas. So I just got my, my glue on there. A little bit goes a long way. Lay it on in place. And sometimes I find it's helpful. Get it lined up just right. Sometimes I'll take like a bottle or something and I'll just sit it on top in the center there just to kind of help hold all the different points down tight. And when it's a big piece like this, you could even, you know, take two and sit there. Okay, especially when you have the thinner lined things and you want to give that a few minutes, let it set really well. The more you use, the longer it's going to take to set. That's the other thing. Um, so keep that in mind. Thank you, Tammy. She says, I'm so glad I got to watch you live today. Missed you all. Aw, we've missed you too, Miss Tammy. Horses and cowboy hats. Yes, Western stuff. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I think... I think that's good. So now we're gonna lay this one on. We're gonna give it a minute to set. We're gonna work on a hanger. We need a hanger. Are we gonna do a hanger or a shelf sitter? Let's do a hanger. Why not? We'll do a hanger. Yeah, why not? So let me slide this to the side. We'll set the can on there, let that help it set. And let's do Let's do, do I have any big beads Ooh. in here? Melissa says, rodeo season is among us in Houston, Texas. Ooh, fun. Um, I think, I think, I think, you know what would be really cool is if you had like the cording with that green and yellow, the army green and yellow, and do your hanger with that, that would look really cool. <coughs> Some paracord? Yes, yeah, some paracord, that stuff. I'm gonna, I need some bigger beads. I don't have any in here. I'm gonna run and grab some beads from the front. Yeah, we can do general stuff, you know, you know we can't, yes. but we gotta be really careful um, with any logo, trademark logos. So, rodeos in San Antonio. Let's see. All right, I went and swiped some wood beads. So I, I got, got some, some, some bigger beads. Oh, I've got camo paracord at home. You do? Mm -hmm. Well, you should have brought it. Well. You should have brought it. All right, I'm gonna put them on a barbecue skewer. And then I'm gonna do them. What colors do you guys think I should do them? Should I go with the green and yellow, or should I go neutral? I think, think you should do like, like the green. A, a couple of different, uh, a, a green, a brown, kind of like a camo. Well, but I only have three. Oh. Oh, paint them camo? I'm not good at camo. They're going to go like that. So the middle one is going to be bigger. So maybe the green and brown. Maybe the middle one, the green, and then the top and bottom brown, maybe. And normally what I would do is I'd put... Normally what I would do is I would put a little dot of hot glue to glue these in place, but I just realized I didn't have my hot glue gun plugged in because I didn't think about needing it. So I'm just going to wing it. Can I have that plate that had the paint on it? Yep. See if I can reuse any of that paint still? Yes, I can. All right. So I'm just going to make do without gluing them on. I'm just going to make it work. Just going to make it work. 
We'll do our brown ones first. Okay. And it would be easier, definitely, if I had them glued on, but it's all right. It's all good. We're getting it. We'll still get it done. And I might use a little bit of antique wax to distress them up a little bit too. Just a little bit. Don't you need an even number for a hanger? No. If you're doing like a loop hanger, yes. But I'm doing like a tall skinny hanger. So you can use any amount. Um, if you're doing, if you have like two holes and you're doing a hanger like that, you definitely want an even amount. So when you hang it on your nail or whatever you're hanging it on, it will hang evenly. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the, the dealership sent me a text. I, th I think it was yesterday afternoon. Ooh. Might have been today. Mm -hmm. That uh, his his parts are supposed to be in on the fifteenth. So, yep, it's supposed to be in on the fifteenth. All right. So, feels like we're never gonna get that car back. I know. All right. I know. This I want my truck back. This would definitely be easier <laughs> if I had. Um, whatever it's called. A glue gun? A glue gun that was hot, yes. But we're making it work. We're making it work. We're working through it. <laughs> working through it. Making it happen. Yes, Easter will be coming. Easter will be coming. We did our first Easter craft last night in the craft kit group. So, um... So, yeah, I know, right, Christine? It's been like two and a half months now. So it was super fun, and that really motivated me. I'm ready. I am ready for... Yeah, we had, that was fun last night. I'm ready for Easter. Yeah. Put a different one on there. I need... I'm going to put a little bit of antique wax on these. Just so it kind of blends with everything else. Oh, I, I know, right, Patricia? Yes, they said the 15th. They didn't say of which month. Right, right. So. Well, hopefully, hopefully. I think everybody's ready around here for Trevor to get his car back. I want my truck back. I know. I know. That's what I was mainly thinking. Because it's, when they get this loaner back, they're going to look at it and say, what the ham sandwich you do with this thing? And I'll say... My son had my truck while you had his car. He, I used it as a truck. He didn't do anything bad to it. He didn't do anything bad to it. No. But I do use it as a truck. He did haul some lumber with it. <laughs> he a did, lot. He did load it with a bunch of wood and bring it over here. He did. A lot. Okay. Let me dry this. Antique wax is a little darker than I want it to be, so I might take my... Um, sanding block to it just a little bit. It would have been a lot easier had I had my glue. Would have been a lot easier. Alright. Use my sanding block. Tone down that antique wax a little bit. I went a little heavy with it. Add a little distressing. A little distressing. each one yeah well they gave us a loaner after about a month yeah it took them a month before they gave us a loaner they weren't oh, 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 oh. y'all that's okay we'll grab a wipey grab a baby wipe clean it up we might end up with a camouflage look after all oh, boy janice says uh, she had to go to the food store today and was passing by dollar tree and they have all their Easter stuff up. Mm, you were passing by and you happened to see, huh? Uh, you were passing yeah. by. Wink, wink, nod, 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 you know <laughs> Or you stopped in. <laughs> Sounds like you might have stopped in. But that's okay. That's okay. I don't, we don't blame you. We don't blame you. Okay. All right. Now, Christine, Trevor's car has been in the shop for 
about almost two and a half months now. But because he's at school, he's been using my truck. Yeah. And he's, yeah, he's not listed as a driver on the car. On the Because he on wasn't the loaner. here when we got it, and he's under the age that they like to give loaners to. Yes. So Tim's been having to drive the rental car. And you guys, it's a nice car. They, they, uh, it is. I, I have a, uh, they gave me a 2018 uh, Jeep Compass. A lot of people love those cars. It's not for me. It's too small for him. It's too small for me. He gets a little claustrophobic. I'm a, I'm not a small guy. My hair does grow relatively fast. It does. And it is a small yes. car. All right. So I folded my twine in half. And then I looped it through, okay? So we got all of our beads are stacked like that. Now the ends <laughs> that are not looped. Tana says she did go in there. Did go in where? She didn't. Oh, in the dollar. I had a feeling. It sure sounded like you went into the Dollar Tree. It sure sounded like you did. I'm still going to be gentle with this because I just want to make sure it's set well. I used kind of a generous amount on this part. So I want to make sure. So I'm still going to be delicate and gentle with it. I'm going to put my strings through. Yeah, and you know, and it's it does have some pretty, you know, some some cool uh some cool features. Features on it, but it's not a truck. He likes his truck. I love my truck. Right. I tied a knot at the top just so my beads don't wander off. And then I'm going to tie a knot on the back side here. Hold our hanger in place. See, if I was going to be a Jeep person, it would have to be one of the older ones. Like a, like a CJ, I'd love to have a CJ5. But those are few and far in between anymore. Okay, trim my end off. The scissors. Trim the excess strings off. All right, y'all. I think it's done. Hopefully my glue is set. Doesn't fall off, hopefully. All right, you ready? Here we go. Here we go. There is our brave hanger. Turned out pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's I, I like think that. it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I'm happy with it. But like I said, you can paint it. This is kind of more army direction, but you could do it any color for any branch that you would want to um, to represent. So that is brand new in our shop. The wood with the galvanized metal overlays. So you can get it in our shop right now, right now. The link is in the description. Penny says, my husband has learned it's my Ram truck, not ours. Mm, yes. <laughs> All right, you ready to gift this? I am ready. We are gonna gift this one. So somebody who's watching here today and sprinkled this video to their friend. Just means to S-H-A-R-E it. Okay, if you're new, that's what it means. If you're new, I hope you hit the follow button too if you enjoyed what you saw here today. And um, we are going to scroll through the names and the first name that Tim sees. We see on our end who sprinkled this to their friends. And when I tell Tim to stop, the first name he sees, that's the one he's gonna write on a sticky note. And we are going to gift this. So, um, you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep those names a rolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. scrolling. Stop. Stop. In the name of names. <laughs> All right, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who are we going to ship this to? Who are we going to ship this to? Who will it be? Who will it be? Oh, we don't have a we don't have a golden yellow sticky note this time. It's more well, I guess it's kind of, it's like a golden orangey almost. Kind of has a gold look. Gold sticky note, please. We have how do I say this? Loretta <laughs> Migran Mig Migran Mig Mig Mingran Mingran uh, Mingran. Miss Loretta, send us an email at Christie's team 
at christiescraftroom.com. Christie's team at christiescraftroom.com and we will um, need your address. So send that your address to that email address, Christie's team at christiescraftroom.com and we will get this shipped out to you. Miss Loretta Mingran. Mingran. Mingran? Okay. Sorry if I messed up your name, but you're still gonna get this even if I messed up your name. <laughs> No matter how so bad we screwed get, up your okay. name, so Ms. Loretta, you're getting this. Miss Loretta, send us an email at Christie's Team at Christie's Craft Christie's Team at Christie's Craftroom.com. Okay, everyone's saying congratulations. One last look at our finished project here. Oops, sorry, I was holding it a little wonky, crooked there. There you go. Your little brave army boots. Or you can make them whatever style branch boots you want them to be. So all right, guys, we are going to hop off here. We got things to do. Got and stuff to do. Stuff to do. Enjoy your weekend. Have an amazing, great weekend. Stay safe, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Have a great weekend, guys.